rainy day schedule here at the underground. Fucking mess. I'd really love somebody to patch the seam right there along the where we added the awning because <laughs> over, over there it was coming down a lot. Uh, I was really surprised and uh, of course it just dumped on us. It was like scary. Cherry was like texting me. Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Everybody's okay. Uh, but today is pretty fucked. Uh, like I said, when it rains here, it, it just fucks up everything. And it, it just adds delay. And I apologize, but that's this is the best I can do. But uh, the good news is that um, I talked to um, my buddy that has access to private powder coating. Like, they don't even advertise. And he's like, dude, we got so many colors. And they can also do ceramic coating. So the cool thing about the ceramic coating is that um, it doesn't require high temperature baking like typical powder coat. Um, I don't know if it's air dry, but we'll see. Cause I'm like, wouldn't that just be paint? And he's like, no, 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 it's a special ceramic coating. It protects stuff. It has these really cool colors. I'm like, okay, we'll check it out. So um, instead of grinding all these, what we're gonna do is go ahead and bead blast them uh, tomorrow at his shop. And uh, then we're gonna go through some colors the other cool thing is because it's not high temperature, meaning we don't have to put it in an oven at four or 500 degrees, um, we can do the um, uh, the ferrite uh, magnet arrays. So like if you want something that really pops or like, I don't know, if you're old school Mexican and you want like pink and black, like fucking go for it. Um, just hit me up. Uh, like I said, these are the new Neo ones that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, we may do some big chunks of cheese uh, ferrite on them if you want. Just, again, it's for show. It's, you know, these are not common. Uh, and these are quite large. But um, uh, the new 4x4 motors are pretty tits McGee. See, this whole work area got soaked. So, luckily, I, oh, there's a piece of metal. So, I forgot that tea yoke. But this was, like, pouring in from that seam. There you go. Genius. It's genius. It actually doesn't hurt the coil, by the way. This is all uh, enamel wire. We'll, we can actually grind all this stuff off and still use it. So um, this is for um, Josh though. And so what I'll probably do is, um, I think this is a dual one. So I'm gonna make them a dual two because it's just easier to use. And then um, uh, finish making his, but let me pull this over. <sighs> Gotta pull the sticker off this one too. Oops. Oops, that one's live. See, turbo sound. Come on, magnet. There we go. Turbo sound, something LS24, something, whatever. Doesn't matter anymore. Uh, uh, so everything got soaked, but again, what am I gonna do? Get a bigger warehouse? Ha ha ha, I would love to. In Texas. Uh, I, oh, I wanted to show you the the steel parts. Oh, those are those. Okay, they're on the ground. Uh, it was these. <clears throat> these are the new 4x4s. I think I showed these to you before. I don't I don't remember what I did with the, the tops. Well, I brought one over here so we can look at it. Uh, I got four of the... Uh, these are the 220 millimeter. USA made from in Kentucky. Uh, by Crucible, these are three quarter inch, also known as 20 millimeter in the rest of the world. So, and it sticks up like a big old butt plug like Jacob, um, but we have a thicker top plate. Let me see if I can grab one of those. Yes, I haven't done final assembly. I was grinding them. So, but we're gonna go back and bead blast these, so. The, this is the hardware, uh, what do we do? Oh, that's right, this is to attach. This is the hardware that's gonna go underneath, come through, and then it attaches underneath uh, to the uh, final uh, top plate, which um, I harvested from uh, the TC Sounds buyout. Nope, this one's not tall enough, we can't use it. Gotta do something else. 
We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll just do a triple stack. No? Yes? More gunzo. Oh, isn't that nice? A uh, lot of top plate on that one, but um, I don't think it's tall enough to accommodate uh, the, is it? They're pretty much like this one. So uh, 70 to 80 millimeter wine height. Let's see, that would be centered. Yeah, nope, not enough, it's gotta be taller. Uh, the other way to get around that is um, to use just a thinner top plate. So bring it up higher. There's, there's a bunch of ways to fix this. So, um, and sometimes like there's, there's not really a way to plan it and still get it for this cheap. So sometimes you just gotta do the best with what you got, right? And that's, that's a lot of everything I got. <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise, if you put a fancy finish on it and all this other stuff, this money and time into it, then it just becomes too expensive and then nobody can afford it. And I've put too much money into it so that um, uh, I would go negative just so you can have uh, a fun toy. So, and that's, that doesn't help us. So uh, I'm gonna work on this one, but there's a, there's a big one I put together that has like a five stack that I, that I did measure, that I wanted to make sure. So the worst case is we can always go back and um, pull these, these bolts are not uh, permanent uh, thread locked. We can uh, pull them out. And there were some taller bolts that we can put on here, even hex heads that are longer and uh, go up like an inch or two with more of these plates. So that's the worst, worst part. So, which is what I think I might do. Here they are. These are the, uh, the already assembled ones. So these were from the Titan woofers from the concept buyout, the smaller, thinner one, and then these were from the TC Sounds buyout that we got out of California. So Ash is not here today. She's with uh, Brian and Steven um, helping with, dude, there was over a pallet of returns yesterday, and I was like, mm, I gotta go <laughs> to get out of that chore. Um, so she's there today helping them do that, and uh, she, that way she can make a little bit more money than she makes with me. But um, this one is almost finished. This one is a, uh-oh. She put, yeah, she kind of fucked up this one. This one is a um, single terminal. So we gotta pull these, I don't think it's a dual terminal, a dual voice coil, I think it's a single voice coil. So but she put two terminals on it, thinking that these leads weren't touching. We'll put a meter on that. Again, I can't always be here to supervise her, which is fine, it's not a big mistake. This one is good to go. It's just got the inner cap in. I'll probably um, do a couple different outer caps to give whoever buys this um, the final say. And I think there's a big oversized, it's almost like three cubic foot, uh, 12 inch box. It's one of those, you know, big boxes that like the boomer guys get. And so, um, and again, not that I agree with those, but people buy them and I have them for sale. So it's kind of this weird thing where like, all right, so you're gonna use this knife for, for purposes of good and they're like yep <laughs> yeah and they're just dumb so it's fine but uh this one is dual four um i'm gonna pair it up or at least offer it uh with the recoil audio di 1200 oh i forgot i got a bunch of uh, oh this 10 is available as well built this one on spec i think this one is dual two dual one inch slugs uh, i think this was left over for some of the prototypes from uh the shaz bot and then we're doing uh, three of the 24s. We already have two sold. We have one available. If somebody wants to do that, it's a dual two. Um, if anybody wants that. And then I forget who we wanted this one. This one's basically done. Oh, well, I got a little wet. Um, this one is, uh, must have come in through the, the vent. Yeah, I was really blown. Um, oh, there's George. I gotta talk to him. But um, yeah, this one's got a really big, uh, this was from Hyphonics uh, Titan motor, and I did it as a triple stack with a three inch coil. It's dual two. Somebody, I, I think I'm going to do it for 300 local and then 350 shipped uh, on this one. That water doesn't really hurt it. Um, we'll get it off and dry it. It'll be fine. Um, a lot of the, like the epoxy doesn't use, um, adios. That was George. He uh, he killed a massive 18. So um, 
it's it stunk but the coil didn't seem burned uh, but then you, you smell it and you're like okay there was something going on here um, I think what he did was he just crashed it it was uh, uh, and he said he only had like a, a dual 5500 uh, running it which should only be about a thousand watts but um, I think what he did was he uh, crashed it into the back plate um, so but um, he was fine with it he was okay he said it sounded good but we got to repair it but I wanted to point out um, I got some goodies from Recoil to be testing over the weekend uh, one of them is the new RX 69 the premium let's see Echo Pro series um, 6 by 9s that's what I really wanted to look at was the uh, Echo Pro. I think they have another one in between called the Echo Plus, which I wasn't a big fan of, but I got to do the re review on that one as well. Also, some of the Marine speakers. Uh, Luis uh, did the graphic design on this. This looks amazing uh, in real life. Not sure how it shows up on the film, but those are the M3 series, and I also got a set of the M1 series, uh, which are like LEDs for. Um, uh, UTVs, ATVs, and uh, Marine. So, and I got a whole box of the DI 1200.4s. Somebody said they were out the other day. I'm like, check, make sure you check Amazon. Of course, I can get you a better price than Amazon, but always check that. And then they got the new three-way setup from the RD series. So this is the RD 365, uh, which is different than the RPM 365, but I'm, I'm curious to see what they got. Uh, here is the new PX. Uh, 65.4 this was the only this was a sample set that they uh, sent and they wanted me to do a review on it so I'll, I'll be doing that uh, today actually because um, somebody already wants to take them out and, and try them here's the M1 that I mentioned and it has the uh, 65 is the size uh, 6.5 inch and then the K is the kit uh, and then this one I think they had they had ordered a pallet of them that didn't come with the um, LED control modules I think this is also is this the Bluetooth RGB controller, yeah. So they, they were missing the RGB controllers and so we had to rework them, which is where you gotta open it up, put it put the kit inside and then close them back up. I I don't think I ever did a video on the SXS 12D2. Somebody ordered one of these. Um, if I remember right, the FS on the website was too high, it was in the 40s. Um, but we, we're gonna go ahead and test it. I know definitely on the 10, but I'm not sure on the 12. Uh, somebody, th these are for sale now. They have a small stash here uh, to be able to sell some of the DI series uh, amplifiers. This is the DII 700.4 micro four channel. Again, I get you the best price on these. And then I also include an exterior um, uh, fuse, which I don't, I don't think is included, but I haven't opened up any to find out. Also, there was two uh, Bluetooth products that were um, came in uh, to try out in, in the American market. Um, from what I know, these are very, 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 very similar to other big name brands like JL Audio uh, that exist out there. So, because they might be made at the same factory. Wink, wink. Um, the DI 1400.5, this is the new Micro Four channel. I'm excited to see that one. And this is what you guys have been wanting for is the uh, DII 3300.1 which I'm pretty sure is just a um, uh, repackaged Brazilian, but we'll go ahead and check that one out as well. Um, the other one is the DII 400.4. They also make a couple of mono amps as well. I think it was 1100.1 and then um, a 1600.1 as well. So that's one of the PCK4D kits someone had ordered. And then finally the uh, RX65 Echo Pro series, uh, six and a half inch coaxial. The other one that's missing that I forgot to get yesterday, I'm hopefully I can get down there today before the guys leave for the weekend is the new RED uh, 1800.1. Um, that's a new base uh, amp that's supposed to be in, in between the 1200 and the 2500. So we'll get a look at that hopefully today. And then, uh, oh, the RED 1800.5, yes, Amazon is out. Yes, we, we, I helped ship the, it was at least two pallets of, of products. So there was plenty. Um, Eric, who is in charge of the pricing and of the inventory on, uh, Amazon, he, I thought he priced them too low, but 
he priced them at what he did, which was I think 169 each shipped. And um, so um, they obviously sold out really quick. And uh, we only received, I think, uh, three returns so far. Two of those were from uh, a common uh, fault, which was that one of the highs channel, one of part of the four channel, one of the um, full range channels, um, one was dead, and then the other one was like really, really loud. And I thought that was a really weird thing. And I have uh, all, all the rest of the channels work on those. Um, and they're for sale. If you want them, they're uh, $80 each shipped. There's two of those available. And then, oh, they're getting more in. They're gonna, they re-upped it. But don't be surprised if the price goes up to like 250, 260 shipped. And then I'll go back to selling them for, I think it was 220 shipped or something like that. Again, I don't control the price. <laughs> I wish I did and I wish I could have more consistent stuff. Um, some of this new DII stuff and the, some of the premium stuff that's coming out I've been assured by uh, corporate in China that a lot of this stuff, uh, this premium stuff, will be only for dealers, so or sold through directly through the website, not on Amazon. So the weird thing about selling on Amazon is that you have to have a price cheap enough so that it actually sells out pretty quick. Because otherwise, every day that that inventory is sitting in the Amazon warehouse, it's eating away at the profits. So they want to put something out there that has a high margin. And, and sells right away. Uh, and that's what makes them the most money because otherwise, uh, well, this happens anyway, which is Amazon actually takes most of the profit. So let's say there's a $50 profit on each unit. Amazon gets like $75. <laughs> I'm sorry, $100 profit. So let's say there's $100 profit. Amazon, after shipping and all that stuff, Amazon will, will take away about $75. So now what's great about selling on Amazon though is it's very wide distribution, meaning it moves a lot of product very quickly if it moves. So that's why typically some of the best sellers and the best success that people have on Amazon is typically very light items, uh, stuff, that, stuff that doesn't cost too much to ship, stuff that's very ch cheap and easy to make, like stuff that's made out of plastic or small toys, something that sort of um, uh, manipulates people's emotions in order to buy it. Uh, uh, what is it called? It's not surge. It's um, impulse, an impulse buy, something that looks pretty and they go, it's new. Oh, it's great. And so, the, uh, and that's what people buy. Um, a lot of dumb stuff. Um, <laughs> I would love to say that it's just women, but it's not. Men buy dumb stuff too. And they also buy stuff, stuff on impulse as well. Uh, believe me, I know. I've uh, been in car audio for a while. But um, I think that's, let me check around to see if I, there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Oh, well, we got a critter. Maybe he just took shelter from the storm. But he's... He put his mask on. And he came out of nowhere because there's no... There's no, uh, like, opening out there in that parking lot. There's nothing there, so... Hopefully he's like, Is this fat, chubby guy filming me? Yes, yes I am. I think that was good for a shop update. Um, uh, I will update on the battery in there. There was quite a bit of swelling. Uh, I decided not to use a BMS. Maybe that's why you should use a BMS uh, on that. But um, I also need to create a, a stronger fixture that I, adapter uh, for it to fit in the, the spot inside the cart uh, that's a bit stronger to keep the, the swelling from getting out of control. Swelling is normal, but um, also, the fuses didn't work so well on the physical part. I think I'm going to go to uh, plumber strap and then just have a little service loop in them. So that way, if they expand, uh, there'll be a little give uh, uh, in the in the strap um, so they don't pop apart. Some of these, the, the, the cell swelled so much that it popped the fuse uh, physically, not uh, electrically. So, and then I may even switch back to like, maybe get one of those beast, super beast, uh, with the, I forget the name of the brand, It's it, but the, the cell is encapsulated in a um, uh, can, in an aluminum can. Um, I forget what the name of it is. Each one's eight, eight amp hour. And so you gotta do like, you know, series parallel to get whatever you want. It, they take up a lot more space, but you don't have to have the, the clamp bars and things like that in place uh, like you do with these other cells. So I think that was it. Um, I'll do some more. Of course, I'm gonna do a bunch of reviews over the weekend, but I really wanna get uh, orders shipped today as much as I can, at least what I can fit in the car. Um, cause I really don't want to take the car back there 
Um, and I, I don't even like to take the cart back there. It's real muddy. But um, I'm going to do the best I can. And thank you guys for your support. And we'll talk to you later.